Hello, everyone. My name is Ralph Becker. Welcome, and my name is Christian Spielmann. So uh, I'm a reader in economics education at the University of Bristol, and I am a professor of economics education at the University of Manchester, and we are the uh, leaders of the training group of the Economics Network. And in this role, we are really pleased to welcome you here to this GTA workshop. Now, Christian, why is it an exciting but also challenging time to be a graduate teaching assistant at a UK university this year? Yeah, Ralph, so many things have changed, right? I think um, the pandemic, which we have faced and which we are still facing, has changed the way we teach and the way we think about pedagogy. So I think uh, it's exciting in a, in a way because there are, are many ideas, many new innovations which we can kind of work with and see whether they work and which of them are good for pedagogy, for education. But it's challenging because there is so much new uh, so many new things and it's challenging because you have to organize, get to grips with all these new things and uh, there's a lot of uncertainty and I think that makes it hard. Absolutely. One of the challenging aspects is that we have some students sitting in our classrooms wherever you are in the UK, but other students will be studying remotely, perhaps even or very likely in different time zones and that is clearly mm -hmm. challenging and actually on top of that you will be dealing with students who over the past year may have had very little in-person contact. Even if they are second year students, they may have done everything online, but even new students coming in, you don't know how much in-person contact they, they have had. And all of these are actually really challenging aspects. You as a graduate teaching assistant can help your department in dealing with these issues and making the student experience as valuable, as exciting, as satisfying as possible. Absolutely, Rev. So I, I think it's really uh, important for us as teachers to think about the experience uh, the our students had over the last one or two years. Uh, our first year students coming in with a very, very disrupted final or two final years of, of, of school education. Um, they haven't necessarily been at school, they didn't sit their uh, exams, their A-levels. Um, so I, I think we are facing challenges here that uh, A, students are not used to um, the, the kind of learning environment. It's, there's a disrupted transition from school to university. And B, uh, depending on the particular circumstances, we might have quite different uh, uh, pre-knowledge. And we always had that, right? I mean, this is not totally new. We you're, have absolutely, to... you're absolutely right, Christian. We always had this issue, but I, I think the issues will be just on a slightly bigger scale this year. And so you're here in this workshop because your department has hired you to help in um, in the teaching, in helping students learn. Now, we are not saying that we have the, the one correct answer to all of these issues. This workshop here is to help you think through these issues and not alone. You always will have to talk to your course directors, course uh, conveners, to other colleagues. So what we are expecting you to learn from this workshop is sort of a framework to think through these problems together with your colleagues. So this is exactly the reason why we are super happy to have you in the workshop, to think through these challenges together and to explore certain answers and, 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 and give some tips how to, how to manage uh, the, the teaching year, which is there to come. Mm. Ralph, so what do participants actually do in this workshop and how should they engage? Oh. So th these workshops will run as either online workshops or we also have a few on-campus workshops, but most likely you're here participating as an online participant. Now it's structured exactly, we're demanding exactly the same from you as you will be asking what you will be asking from your students. So we'll be expecting you to engage with material before you come to the live sessions. And when we say engaging, well, not only, we don't only mean that you read through some stuff. Yes, we're expecting you to do that. It's a quite 
short amount or small amount of reading we expect you to do, but we also expect you to show your engagement by going to particular padlets and leave some thoughts, or in, in one case, you, you have to be completing a form with some thoughts which prepare one of the live sessions. So you will have to do that to get your certificate. So if you're an online participant, um, you should be reading through the orientation and key topics part. Uh, you should be uh, reading through the um, learning community part, through the um, diverse teaching part, and you have to do a brief job for the engaging small, uh, small groups part. But then there will be live sessions which will go in detail through how to engage students in small groups. And we will have a live session, or one part of that live session, we'll be talking about marking and feedback because that's is going to be a substantial part of your job description, most likely. And we will conclude the live session with a Q and A, uh, with a Q and A. So this is what we expect you to do: engage, as instructed by the table in the uh, in the introductory page. Engage, read, but also respond to Padlets and and a form, and then come to the live session. Absolutely. So. Um... It'll be great to, to work through this together with you and to exchange ideas. We look forward to see you. Bye-bye. See you.